Hi, so basically this is video number three. In video number three, we're ongoing process of finishing this Mantic Elf Regiment, which hopefully will end up becoming part of a Mantic Elf Army. Video one that we did, part one was basically me unboxing and assembling uh, the elves. That one took, I think, about an hour or something, I think. Check the video, the link's in the description. The second video part two is painting. So I did two videos for that one. So there's one video where it's called Enjoy the Process. So it's the whole, it's just music and you know me painting. If you like that kind of videos, the link is there. Um, the next video I also did, also part two, is basically the, the process of painting the whole regiment. So this is video number three. Video number three, I'm gonna show you how to do some basing or how I did the basing for this regiment. And by the end of the video, you'll probably see the whole regiment fully done. Um, and this will be regiment number one. I'm not so sure whether there's gonna be a, a part four to this, but there will be an... But this regiment will actually carry on to other videos. Hopefully to an army building video and later to a to a, to a battle report. So that's what we're doing with this regiment. Thanks for being patient and staying with us. It took uh, a lot of effort to get this done. Actually, to be honest, if you're painting each figure, I took 12 minutes per figure. So that's 12 minutes times 20. If you've got a hairdryer, it's 12 minutes. If you've got you don't have a hair dryer, it takes about 20 minutes a figure. So that's 20 times 20. Yeah. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration to break out and build some regiments for your Kings of War game. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I did the basing. Now, check this out. Right, so I've got a way I do my bases. So what I do is I usually get I usually prefix them in a container like this. Um, well, I can get this container from anywhere. So I, I mix the three types of basing materials that I want to use oh, to this little little bit. It makes me it makes it easier when you want to like uh, spread the the flock onto the base because you don't have to mix it too much. So what I use is I use this this I think is this is like river river sand. Which which I s sort of have in the shop. So, a bit more bright, a bit more red, a bit more pink, and I, I mix it with um army painters battlefield, battlegrounds, black battlegrounds. Yeah. So let's let's look inside. Um. Yeah. So as you can see, the it's a bit different. Both both different basic materials are different. So, what I do is I put a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. The idea is to premix. When it, the idea is when you premix, you 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 see you save yourself a step. So if you're speed painting or you're speed building a regiment, this is a, this is a really good idea. It helps speed things up. Let's give it a quick whirl with the finger. Sometimes when you have different basic materials, they don't they don't really blend so well. So you've got you've got to yeah as you can see it it separates, but I I like I like using this method because well it's fast it's quick, then later I use a little bit of um, yeah static grass, and can have a little bit on hand so this is just just for a little bit just so I can like, you know give the base a little bit of color, yeah so that's it. Yep, so here's the Mantic Elf. So what I did first is I made sure I black based the base. I need the base to be dark black because well, it helps with how the placing will look. I got a little bit of uh, PVA in the little cap and I'll spread it. Yeah, for, for the purpose of this, this video, I'll just, I'll just put a little bit on just to give you an idea on, on how it looks and how I intend to do this. Um, of course, when you're basing a lot more in one go, you you generally have a lot more uh, PVA. I use PVA. I, I I prefer PVA when I'm when I'm basing, at least for my figures. Then you get your mix or your special mix, and you drizzle a 
Drizzle. Yep. I did, I did, I did drizzle from, from above because I like how it falls. It's a bit of a messy, it's a bit of a messy technique. So what this usually means is later after you're done, you're going to have to clean up the whole space. Yeah. There you have it. That's, that's how it looks. I get a little bit of my steady grass, just a little bit. And with a pinch, just drop a little bit, just for that slight colors, that slight growth onto the figure yeah a bit messy but it gets the job done yep cleaning up right there oh, looks, doesn't look that bad looks pretty nice yep yeah that's how i got to be seen up with this regimen as you can see the regiment's already done what i need to be doing after this is to um, do a little bit more detailing but it's more or less done the, the basic colors are done the, the basing is done I took I took the decals and I put the um, I don't know if you can see it put the, um, the stickers on to the shield I think it came out I think it came out quite nicely the shields um, I think it's a very effective color scheme because I, I'm, I'm using a very small palette and it seems that everything just came together. That includes my little like, pet. Yeah. Small color palette. That's what I went for. With. Ooh, they just spill it. Secret recipe. Not really secret. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.